At Rigging Projects, passion for innovation drives everything they do. Born from the marine industry, they've built a reputation for designing high-end yachting hardware. Two years ago, they took it a step further, bringing manufacturing in-house with cutting edge machinery. But innovation doesn't stop at the water's edge. And now they're setting their sights on new horizons. Now this is a really interesting story. Chris here used to be a captain of a super yacht and now he is head of engineering here at Rigging Projects Machining. How's this journey happened? I was a machinist before I was a sailor. I went away sailing for a while, uh, came back, set up a small company uh, manufacturing um, de deck gear and custom parts for yachts. Uh, we started producing components for rigging projects and probably six, seven years into that store, uh, into that uh, journey, rigging projects and us came together on the one roof here in Tottenham. So what are the machines that you've got here? Because you've slowly progressed, haven't you? You've kind of added to your capabilities. Yeah, we started with a three axis turret mill. Uh, conversational programming. Uh, then we needed a bit more accuracy and speed, went up to VMCs, small VMCs. Um, ultimately, we got a meter machine, uh, but we, we still didn't have the five axis capability that we, we needed to produce the, the you know, ever-growing range of complex components. And what type of components are you making? Because clearly you're heavily into the marine industry. We design and manufacture a range of deck gear for super yachts and race yachts. Um, we range from aluminium components right through to titanium components. Boats are getting bigger, loads are increasing. To stay ahead of the curve, our, our design is designing more and more complex components. Tolerances are getting tighter, parts are getting larger. Hence the purchase of this incredible Matsura machine. So why did you invest in the Matsura MAM 72 model? We needed five axis capability. We needed to increase productivity. We needed to reduce lead times and we needed a machine that would hold tight tolerances all day and all night. It's a big investment. You've got to have confidence in an investment like this. It's ticking all the boxes, but what was it that kind of tipped you over to the edge to go for this machine? We were subbing out 20 to 25,000 pounds of work a month. Yeah, we need to bring that back in house, take control, guarantee that the parts were, were perfect. So by taking all of that work back, where are you now? Capacity wise, yeah, we've got spare capacity. We've doubled our milling capacity to the point now where we have spare capacity, which is going to allow us to, to move into other sectors. Like to diversify your exactly, business. Exactly, yeah, yeah. So you've brought work back in. You now have opened up your capacity exactly. and you're able to make more complex components. Absolutely. It's, thanks, thanks to the Matsura. It's transformed your business. It has, it really has. How has this worked with Matsura? How have you built that relationship? Because off camera, you've been praising <laughs> them to high heaven. Yeah, it was fabulous all the way through. From the, the sales pitch from, from Mark was, was, was great. We had, a, we had a day up in, um, in Leicestershire at their showroom. Absolutely fantastic. And when we walked into the, the stores and saw the European spares, it's like, it's an arm around the shoulder. It's like, we've got you. Really? Um, it's a well-trodden path, the machine. It's reliable. It's, there's plenty out there. It, it was a no-brainer for us. No-brainer. And tell me, how did the install go? It was amazing. Really? Was amazing. Yeah, three, three articulated lorries turned up outside. I was, I was a bit apprehensive. Every step of the way, was, it was just an, a breeze. We even got to the point where it came in through the loading bay. And it wouldn't actually go under the mezzanine. No. So I, I had my head in my hands. But, um, that Steve and the boys lowered it down onto bars, dragged it in, seamless. And then the install guys came in a week later and it, it, it just, it, it was seamless, absolutely perfect. I've got the gist that you really like the machine. So what has it done for your business and what has it done for you personally? It's a step change in technology for us. It's allowed us to manufacture components previously unmanufacturable. It's, it's a fantastic machine, absolutely fantastic.